Hi, and welcome to the tutorial for using Chromebox Alpha. Generally, Chromebox Alpha is used as a reliability coefficient. More specifically, it's a measure of internal consistency of items in a scale. Generally speaking, we are trying to get multiple items to tap into a single construct. For example, with the Rosenberg self-esteem scale, we have a number of items meant to provide an accurate measurement of self-esteem. Same thing can be said for the CESD depression scales. We are asking several items which are meant to tap into our assessment of depression. We're generally asking ourselves, do all of the items in my scale fitting together? Are they all tapping into the same concept or construct? And we have to remember that the items that we choose to put into a scale are both driven by theory, so things that past research has showed us or what we would imagine according to past research, but also we take in consideration the empirical results. So does this, do the statistics match up to what my theory would posit? So let's go ahead and run a Chromebox Alpha using SPSS. Let's go ahead and go to Analyze, down to Scale, over to reliability analysis. So we, again, we have our list of variables here and the items that we are interested in here. For the purposes of this exercise, I'm going to be looking at a seven item CESD depression scale as measured in 2002. And so we're gonna select all of the individual items that make up this seven item scale. In this case, it would be these variables here and I can go ahead and select shift and select all of my items. Go ahead and move it into the items box here. We leave our model as alpha and let's go ahead and go to statistics. We want to know generally descriptives for item, scale, and scale if item deleted. We are also interested in our inter item correlations and go ahead and press continue. And this is how your menu system should also look. Press continue, uh, press paste or OK. And we should get our output here. So it gives us our basic information that we have 240 individuals in our data set. The things that you're most interested in is this box right here, which gives us our reliability statistics. Our Chromebox Alpha is 0.816. That's pretty good. Usually in the social sciences, the benchmark for good reliability is somewhere around 0.70, but generally we want it higher than 0.80, which is good reliability. What we also get here are our item statistics. This just tells me the means and standard deviations of each of my items and also the sample size on which it was calculated. This one's a particularly important thing to note, the inter-item correlation matrix. The coefficient alpha is based on the average of all of these inter-item correlations. So let's go ahead and take a look at our correlations. Are there any variables for which we have particularly small correlations. So if we look across, we might see that perhaps poor appetite is on the low end. So we have some 0.3s and a 0.40. We also see this one's pretty high. We have our 0.5s. We have some 0.7s here. Everything took a little extra effort. Might be considered also low, in low correlations. 0.1s, 0.3s. Um, not getting too much higher than a 0.35. We see that there are some high correlations here, particularly high correlation here, and high correlations here. So the two items that might be not tapping into the construct as well as we'd imagine are perhaps poor appetite or everything took a little extra effort. We know that because there are some lower inter-item correlations. So let's go ahead and scroll back down to the rest of our output. This is of note if we are creating a scale or we're interested in knowing if our scale might be better or worse if we threw out some of the items. So what this gives me is, importantly, our Chromebox Alpha if this item is deleted. 
So let's go back to the items that we thought had low inter-item correlations, which was poor appetite, as well as everything took extra effort. You can see for poor appetite, if we were to delete this item, this coefficient alpha does not really change too much. It actually stays pretty much the same. So it would not be of use for us to delete it. Um, if we look at the other one, our coefficient alpha actually does increase just a little bit. So if we remember, it's 0.816 previously, so it would go up just a little bit if we were to remove that item. But we have pretty good reliability overall to begin with. So it's important to look at if all of these items are kind of hanging together really well. And our conclusion from our chrome box alpha is that we have pretty good reliability within our scale. Now let's give an example. If we were to throw in an item that really does not tap into the construct of depression, what would this look like? Let's go ahead and run something real quick. Analyze, scale, reliability analysis. Let me go ahead and throw in something that really does not tap into the measure of depression. Let's do the number of jobs ever reported by an individual. So we're going to throw that in. Everything should be left as it was. We're going to press OK. And let's look at our alpha now. Our alpha is pretty low. It's 0.287. So this is by no means acceptable in social sciences research. And if we go down to the inter-item correlation matrix, we'll see very, very low correlations, less than 0.02 for most of these, um, with only a little bit this one's the closest we get to anything remotely high, and it's not very high at all. And we can see this inter -to total statistics, our Kronbach's alpha if item deleted. We can see if we delete any of these original items, it doesn't really go up in very much. However, if we were to delete this last item, number of jobs ever reported, our Kronbach's alpha would be calculated as it was on our previous run. So we can see that even one item that has particularly low inter-item correlations can draw your Kornbach's alpha very, very low. In this case, all the way down from 0.81 or 0.82 to 0.2 or so. And we can see that that's an item we would probably want to throw out if we were you know, doing our own scale. But again, it's important to note that before you throw any items out or think about rearranging how your scale looks, it's important to note that you have to think about whether this fits theoretically and does it go along with what you would expect. All right, so that's a brief overview of the Chrome Box Alpha. I hope you enjoy and I hope you have very high Chrome Box Alpha for any measures that you include in your research.